I'm Colin Conroy, owner-operator of The Grind Cafe. Yeah, I'm Sheila Fernley, and uh, I'm the owner of Rose Hips Wedding Event Studio, new flower shop here in downtown Trenton. Tommaso's Casual Dining is our family business. Uh, our parents actually started Jim's Pizzeria in 1970, so we're celebrating our 40th anniversary this year. My name is Bill Rolfe. I'm president of uh, H.G. Rolfe, the Jeweler Limited. We've been located in Trenton now for 50 years, and downtown for the last 40. My name is Chris Rose. Um, I'm the owner of the Rose Home Hardware Store here in uh, beautiful downtown Frankfurt. My name is Paul Whitley, president of Whitley Insurance and Financial Services. Our business has been in the Quinney area since uh, 1949. I get the grind, the great coffee shop next door, Tomasso's, the restaurant. Uh, I thought I have to be in the middle of them and uh, it's been a win-win situation for me ever since. We've just this morning we're across at Rose Hips for a grand opening next door. A great uh, floral design lady that has a terrific investment in her store. Um, we supported her from day one and she supported us as well. Everyone saw it as such a positive thing. They wanted to you know, introduce themselves and everyone's been supportive since we showed up. Given the success of our business here, we really saw an opportunity to expand on the waterfront that's right here in our downtown. And our ultimate goal there is to create a neighborhood feel with upscale kind of shops, restaurants, and office space. The sense of community, it's a village uh, type environment. You're at the doorstep of um, all larger things available in Ontario, basically. We're centralized to Ottawa, Toronto. And we have, the, of course, a beautiful geography, but at the same time, uh, a pretty vibrant and diverse economy. You know, we've got a number of second, third generation families who are pretty proud of the community's heritage. There's a number of events that the community hosts. We, we have one of the largest uh, walleye fishing tournaments uh, in the country. The chamber is hosting a wine and food festival. So there's just a number of, of things for, for people to enjoy and take advantage of. There's certainly things that were factors in attracting us. The overhead cost to start up here from an economic concern, taxes, um, is less than other communities. Anything you needed as a new business owner was met. Every question, every um, problem or difficulty I encountered, they, had, uh, they couldn't answer it, they found someone who could answer it for me. The city's very committed to economic growth and revitalization. A number of businesses have taken advantage of the Community Improvement Plan incentives. The most recent development or plan started a few years ago and that was uh, uh, grants given out by the city uh, matched uh, any investment that we might make to uh, new storefronts, upgrading. Uh, so for me the timing was perfect and it's really, it's, there's just no looking back for me. So they're going to take every possible step to help potential businesses settle here. Um, the area has a lot to offer. There's the wonderful National Air Force Museum. There's great Friday night concerts. They also have a, a really established Scottish-Irish festival, which attracts a lot of people. We've got a stable labor force, great uh, proximity to the major arteries in terms of highways, and a great uh, city staff. The river in our background is absolutely a priceless commodity that Trenton has. The waterway is a main theme, runs throughout the entire uh, city of Pointy West. Uh, we also have new uh, shore power uh, availability for boaters that are coming up through the system. I honestly believe over the next 10 years, Queen West will offer some of the best opportunities for future growth of any community in southeastern Ontario.